Hi everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to jump on here really quickly just to give you an update as to how I'm doing. I announced over on my community page that I wasn't going to be able to get a video out to you guys because I have been dealing with probably the worst vertigo attack and vertigo just sort of experience that I've had in a long time. It's knocked me off my feet. So I, I wanted to get on here to let you know that I'm fine and I would say I'm doing better. I'm doing well enough to where I'm talking to you. So there is a little bit of progression where I feel like I'm feeling better and at least well enough to do this. I'm gonna be putting on my makeup in this video and talking to you a little bit about what is going on and I know I say it probably a few times in this video and definitely at the end, but I want to thank you guys for the outpouring of concern and for your well wishes and prayers and just positive vibes that you're sending my way. I'm a firm believer that the universe takes all of that and really pushes it toward, you know, the person that you are doing that for. And I feel it and I want to thank you so much, so much. All right, let's, let's continue. Okay, I think I decided to do a little intro before this. If not, for whatever reason, um, I guess I should say welcome again. <laughs> I just got out of the shower, have not put my skincare on or anything. Getting over a cold sore, so I love this stuff, by the way. It's, it's just about at the end. You know, I've loved, this is Tatcha lip treatment or lip something I used Tatcha exclusively because I really wanted to test out the line itself it's very curious about it and at least the um, stuff that I chose and I used it morning and night for about six months pretty much exclusively and I have to say that I really like it I'm at the point now I mean it is a huge investment there is no doubt uh, but I used it morning and night and I have come to the bottom scraping down, you know, so I it lasted a good long time because you do not need much at all. It's so concentrated um, that it just the initial investment is a lot. I didn't invest in all of the pieces that I had at once, but um if you look at how long it lasts and you break that down, if you're into doing that, you know, you'd be surprised how it doesn't seem quite far-fetched. <laughs> but I have enjoyed the line. It's it, the, you know, I used the pieces that really just give your skin a, a lot of hyaluronic acid and just moisturization. It's, it's made my skin very plump and juicy and uh, I just enjoyed it thoroughly. So I'm trying out a little bit before I talk about what really the intention of this video was supposed to be about. But um, so now I'm kind of looking into youth to the people. And so I have a f couple of theirs. <clears throat> I'm not going to really say anything here or there yet because I haven't used it long enough. I've probably only dabbled with it for the last month or month and a half or so. And then I'm also trying out this sort of eye treatment, a treatment oil. And um, I am all about oils, you guys. I think it is the missing link. And I feel like finally we're hearing more and more about that. But I have been preaching, you know, using really beautiful oil blends that absorb into the skin um, for years, you know. And being an esthetician, I really 
you know, really push that to my clients as well. I think it's something that really isn't talked about enough for mature skin and just keeping young skin young. You know, we, we tend to forget that component. We get all of the peptide stuff and, you know, all of the serums and the vitamin A's and the C's and all of that. But we forget to talk about the simplicity of what is really beautiful oil blends and, and how wonderful it is to add that to your skin. Anyway, so I'm just, I just don't feel very well. You guys still, uh, my, my world's doing this still. Um, so I, I really just want to get something on my skin and when i when i get like that where i'm not caring about adding anything else just feed it make it feel n nice for for the day that's it that's when i reach for my oils and oils only so i've been using this one by youth to the people and i have nothing else on my skin right now it would probably be i'm just going to use like three drops it would probably be a good idea to spritz my skin with some kind of hydration spray but honestly i can't be bothered <laughs> I just can't be bothered even with that. And my skin is so dry. I can tell that I'm not feeling well because, man, you know, your skin is quite the mirror to what is going on inside of you. has a little rolly ball feels nice and cool I prefer just a simple dropper and you know and just press it in honestly I wish that's how this would be but it's fine why am I getting on makeup when I feel pretty crappy well I haven't been <laughs> haven't been at all and uh, I don't know I just felt like I needed to talk to you guys today. So many of you are worried or, you know, sending out your, you know, get well wishes. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling better. And I cannot thank you enough for that. I find it's very comforting. And, um, you know, I, I don't read them as soon as they come out like I normally would because, you know, I get notified. Um, so it just depends on how I'm feeling, but I do get around to reading them all. So, um, thank you. You know what? I'm just going to put a drop of this and just kind of rub this into my cuticles. Um, I just want to thank you truly from the bottom of my heart. I, I appreciate it so much. So I just wanted to get on here and give you guys an update, give you a little something. And, um, I also think it will, I don't know, make me feel maybe a little better just to, get on a little bit of makeup today and i've been for the most part with the exception of a few days um staying in my pajamas all day you know and just 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 doing that <laughs> doing the absolute minimum today i'm not even gonna worry about doing my brows i i I mean, I am probably going to put a little bit of tinted brow gel on. That's it. You know, I'm not going anywhere. I can't drive yet or any of that. So um, just the basics. So I think just going to do the, the Bare Minerals um, liquid. I think, what is this called? 24-hour liquid. Um, gosh, guys. Foundation. I'm just going to go with my very light serum concealer today. This is a L'Oreal product, and it's quite lovely. It doesn't do the greatest uh, to cover up the darkness and all of that, but that's okay for me today anyway. Um, and I do have a lot. I haven't been able to sleep well at all. This started December 1st, the day I decided I wanted, you know, I planned on doing my Christmas decorating. So the vertigo hit me uh, the first which was, it was either the 30, the end of the prior month or the first, I'm trying to remember, but it was in the middle of the night. Well, it was about 3 a.m., I think, 3 or 4 a.m. And uh, I had the worst vertigo attack that I think I've ever had. I've had vertigo uh, really affect me more in my life daily, like where I would have more, well, it's hard to explain. Anyway, but the initial attack was probably the worst I think I've ever had.
I have been to ENTs, I've been to neurologists, I've been to a lot of different testing and all kinds of things. My cat wants in, hold on. Anyway, I've been down that route. I'm actually over trying to find out what is the cause of my, they haven't been able to pinpoint it to anything. I think I have a combination of a lot of different things going on. So um, I am over trying to diagnose it, trying to really nail down what's causing it. I, I've lived my life past that and I'm just not desiring the need to do that anymore because this took me down around two th end of 2006 or seven. So since then, I have been dealing on and off with vertigo my whole life. It has been interesting, I must say. So not being able to sleep, literally not being able to sleep at all for the first three days. So for three days, I had no sleep, just total insomnia for those three days. And then, you know, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, I'd get maybe an hour here, hour there, uh, maybe two hours um, or just 45 minutes to an hour and wake up and just eventually doze off. So I that's kind of how it's been. I did um, my my nurse practitioner's office and herself, actually, she doesn't work a lot. So she gets um, Thursdays and Fridays and Wednesdays after one, she's closed. So Wednesdays after one and then Thursday and Friday, she's out of the office. So you really only have Monday and Tuesday and a tiny little bit on Wednesday. Thursday, when I decided I should reach out to her and she's not there and there's no emergency thing or she's not on call or anything like that. So then Monday in the morning, I did call and talk to the receptionist to see if I could talk to her or the, the medical assistant. Um, Anyway, neither one of them were available, but she was so kind. I know them there. They're very nice. And so she she said, okay, tell me what's going on. And I told her and I said, I, I really just, I need, I, I'm not sleeping. My anxiety is through the roof. Um, and so uh, anyway, she wrote down all of this and she said, you know, I, and I can't come in because my, my son works and my, my, my husband doesn't drive. So. Um, I can't drive, even though they're very close. I can't drive like this. And so she's oh, sure she can do a phone um, conversation type of thing with you. Uh, that's no problem. I'm, I, I know it'll be no problem. So she goes, let me get this over to her. It looks like there's a one o'clock opening. Would you be able to take that? And then she can give you a call. And I said, yes, I'll take anything she has. And she um, got back to me fairly quickly. And she said, she's just telling me to tell you to just go to the ER. And I said, really? What's her reasoning? She goes, I, I don't really know. And I said, well, I'm not doing that. Um, I said, well, um, all right, I'm, I'm definitely not doing that. I've tried that a couple other times and I know what the protocol is. And she, they basically give me meclizine and tell me to follow up with my GP. So. Meclizine unfortunately doesn't help me. I have actually some meclizine here at the house. It, I've tried it because out of desperation, I've tried everything. Uh, it just doesn't help me. And she felt really bad. I can tell nothing she can do. And so I thought, okay, I let it go. I ended up doing some research in the next day or two. Um, and I found this brand new clinic and there's one doctor that works there and it's a woman and they just opened this last October and it's closed, it's on the west side. So I thought, well, nobody's taking new patients even though it's really new, it sounds, you know, almost too good to be true because it they really talk about patient, um, they spend time with patients and, and all of that. It's so. a great website, you can actually book an appointment online. So I did that. I was able to book an appointment and you can give a, a description of what's going on. I did that and, and they had openings that very day, but I couldn't get there because my son was working. So he was off the next day and I booked one for the next day. Um, so he drove me to that and I and I got in and um, my goodness, oh, I had such a wonderful experience with the whole thing um, there staff it's very small it's only one doctor but the, the gals that were working there her medical you know um assistant all of that very good the doctor herself 
want to know my history because I was a new patient. And she sat in that. And I'm telling you, she took a whole hour with me. Um, and I couldn't have been more relieved, to be honest. The other thing that's been going on with me, I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue this, actually, because I'm going to lower the lights. Um, I... I also, my thyroid is swollen on the right side, and it's always my right ear. Thyroid, it's just like all of this. I think that's too big of a coincidence. I also got a cold sore the day before that evening when the vertigo hit me and all of that. Cold sores happen with me when I'm not feeling well or if I'm really stressed out. It's when my body's immune system just sort of falls away and the immune system goes down the virus in me that i've had my whole life since i was a kid is able to come to the surface and i get cold sores you know even as a kid all of my school photos i have a cold sore because i think i was stressed out over the stupid photo day ever since i was in kindergarten you can look i have cold sore every single time <laughs> so i was under a lot of stress that week before a lot of stress i had a horrible week um my husband, um, it was a hard week. And so I think that played a part in all of this. This is new. Never had my thyroid do this before. I think it's possible that, because I've looked into it, that one of the viruses that affect your thyroid, which would, I think it's thyroiditis. I could not possibly be pronouncing that correctly. Um, one of the viruses that can have this happen is the herpes virus that, you know, it, it can settle in your ear and cause vertigo. Uh, your thyroid is inflamed and I got a cold sore. I feel like that is way too much of a coincidence. So um, she, ha we're going to get an ultrasound done of this. It is sore. It feels like a muted watered down feeling of when you get a little bit of strep throat you know right before um but this itself is a bit sore when you when you touch it not a lot of pain um at all really i'm i can do this all day and i could press really hard and it's not like it hurts it's just this feeling of feeling sick so along with the vertigo i just have a general feeling of unwell i just don't feel well i am fatigued fatigued and all of this could have to do with the fact that honestly I haven't slept for a week and three or four days. I just haven't slept much. So obviously I'm gonna feel unwell. <laughs> so it's hard to say what's what, but um, anyway, she, she took so much time with me and I made a point this time to clarify that I am not looking to diagnose this. I told her the history, I've had lots of different tests done. Some of them completely miserable. And those of you that have asked if I've ever had the man, um, the Epley maneuver performed, because it's helped so many of you, I don't have that kind of vertigo where the crystals that are they're all messed up in there. So the Epley maneuver sort of helps to get those crystals back to where they need to be, and you get instant relief. Um, actually, the Epley maneuver would make me feel tremendously worse. <laughs> I don't have that kind of vertigo. At least I've been told I don't. Um, I have positional vertigo, though, in the fact that, um, um, you know, definitely, like, I can't look down, I can't bend down, I have to squat, I have to be careful of even moving my head down. Looking up, <clears throat> can't do that either. I can look from the side, I have to do things very slowly, I even have to walk slowly, but I can look to the left, you know, I can I can do this, but I, as soon as I start tilting my head in different directions, or my body down and stuff and my head nope mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> definitely no so sure there's that you know I, there is some positional vertigo there but um i just think i have a combination you can have a combination of of all different types really and, and honestly i think that's what's going on uh so anyway i'm gonna get my i'm gonna get my makeup on it's a very basic look here guys i hope you're not watching this or any kind of makeup tips or a look that you might want to do. Mm -mm, that's not what this is about. I'm actually working out of this one here today. This is a lovely palette. It's really kind of turned into one of my favorites. 
<clears throat> Got it from Amazon, very inexpensive. My kids came, both of them, I have one that lives an hour up north and one that lives all the way down in Oregon, and her, I mean, uh, both of my girls and their husbands came up yesterday, and both of my girls helped me um, decorate my house for Christmas because I haven't been able to do it. You know, I can't look up to take boxes down and even bending over and doing things, um, and I'm not done. Um, I just can't do it. So I was panicking. I'm like, because we have, we're having Christmas at my house. I really want it at my house. This is, you know, the first Christmas we're going to have at our house since, you know, I bought it. Last year, been here for a year. It's hard to believe. But, um, so I was really excited to have Christmas in our, in our new house. But I was panicking. I can't. Anyway, and so they both, uh, at different times of the day, um, came over and helped me do that so Hannah she helped to take the boxes and us to you know she she basically got everything in the house and put up my tree and I help the best I can uh, but I have to be careful because if I have too much movement in general I'm gonna pay for that um, so we, we got that done and then my other daughter and um, her husband came a little later and she helped to take things out of the boxes and I put them all on my dining room table. And I said, you know, I can do this at my own pace. I just need everything sort of where I don't have to bend down all the time. And so we were able to put everything on my dining table and then I asked if they could please just put everything away back in the garage for me and they did. Um, and so that, that was the main thing I needed. I needed help getting everything in and I needed help getting everything back out. And then I can just decorate at my own pace as long as I'm not doing a lot of bending and lifting and turning and all of that. So I have been doing um, that very slowly. But I got more done yesterday than I thought I would, so. Yay, so grateful for my kids. And my son has been taking my um, husband to his doctor's appointments and me. He took me to my doctor's appointment. And uh, whenever we get the appointment for the ultrasound, which I am trying to figure out how in the world that's going to happen because I'm going to have to lay down for that. I'm, I'm, I might have to ask the doc, my new doctor, um, if I can have anything serious anxiety because... Um, I'm terrified of that. I don't want to send myself into the state of spinning that I'm not going to be able to stop for a while and just get super sick and throw up. And um, I'm just terrified of that. So um, I'm going to see once we get that appointment scheduled, which should be this week sometime. Um, I, sh I don't know. She's going to have to give me something more than. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Anyway, I was going to tell you is that. Whoops, I don't want to do that. The doctor did give me hydroxyzine to help me sleep and to hopefully help sort of quiet the vestibular system. Because I said, it's not about knocking me out to sleep. It's about helping the vertigo not flare when I'm trying to sleep. Because if that doesn't happen, you can knock me out, but I'm going to wake up sick to my stomach. I'll probably be spinning and I will be miserable. So sure, the sleep is nice, but I need something to calm the vestibular system so I can sleep. Because if we can do that, I really wouldn't need any kind of sedation. Well, I've tried that and grant you, we, I'm sensitive to all kinds of medications. So um, she gave me a very, it's like 10 milligrams. Most people will do 25. So she goes, let's just do 10. If you don't feel like it did much, have two the next night. Well, I'm such a wimp. I'm so paranoid that it, it, I could tell it sedated me and it made me relax. And, you know, it's like if I didn't have this vertigo, it would probably have helped me sleep really nicely. But no, so I have this low grade sort of nauseousness going on because I'm just feeling like I'm, you know, and I'm trying to sleep. So it didn't help that. It didn't help my anxiety that much. 
So the next night, I almost took two, but I was too afraid to because I'm like, I don't want to be completely passed out. It would be 20 milligrams. I'm sure it wouldn't do that, but I don't want it to completely take me under. And then literally that happened, you know, where I am just sick. And so I took a half of one. So that night I took 15. And again, I felt like it did induce a bit of nausea. It didn't. I woke up at one point where I must have been laying back a little too far and I was going kind of spinning slow and I'm like, "Mm." so I'm going to tell her we're having a phone appointment today and she wants to follow up on that. So I'm going to tell her that, yeah, I don't know this. I don't know if this is doing what we need it to do. Um, And then she uh, we talked about my lifelong anxiety battle and uh, like again, she was talking to me for about an hour. And she decided, you know, we might try some actual medication that will deal with this anxiety. That was not the plan. Whoa, see, I can't move my head that way. Mm -mm. Anyway, she thought of a Lexapro. And she said that it's great for general anxiety disorder, which she said, I'm 100% sure you have. She did kind of evaluate me, and I had a questionnaire. Well, she asked me questions, and um, she said, you know, your vertigo and your stress and your anxiety are hand in hand. So let's uh, first try for now. Hopefully it'll help you get through this attack situation and what you're going through let's try the um, hydroxazine see if we can get you some sleep and deal with this like that but I'm not going to start you on Lexapro and that at the same time so today's conversation she wants to see how I'm doing and she wants to get me started on that so that's what she wants to try I told her you're going to have to explain to me why you feel this is going to be helpful for me Um, And I have to be convinced, basically. And um, so she must have, because I'm open to that. And um, we'll we'll, we'll be trying the Lexapro. I do this in a pinch from time to time, where I will just do (laughs) a little bit. You know, it's better than nothing. Plus, I'm at the very end of this and have been for a long time. Um, it's better than nothing, um, and I just don't feel like dealing with much more than this when it comes to my eyebrows and all of that. So, um, yeah, I feel like just giving me a little bit more color is better than nothing at all. I'm going to use the color sand as my blush in this. I'm using this color here. Just for fun, I'm just going to use this one here as just a little bit of kind of an a little bit of like um, highlighter. Just right here. <laughs> All right. And for my lips, I'm just going to, I'll just do this. This is like a Sigma eye thing. And sometimes I will just do it like this. I'm going to put it right over the top of my lip treatment. I'm just so tired of not being able to lay down and sleep like I normally do. But, you know, there are people, and I tell myself, this puts things in perspective, really, is there are people going through far worse things than I am going through right now. I think about my husband, you know, (laughs) you know, so there, there's far worse, um, far worse that could be going on with myself. So that's how I try to put all of this in perspective. This is unfortunate. It's not fun. It's, you know, all of that, but I am well enough to sit here and do this and create this video for you and all of that. And I'm grateful so grateful for that 
you know, me being me, I'm going to have to put some gloss on my lips because they feel funny. Probably because I didn't use a lip product on my lips, you think? I use my Anastasia Lip Gloss Venus. Uh, that makes me feel better. <laughs> Actually, you know, I started thinking, if you've watched the last two of my most, I want to say they're my last two most recent videos. I think one was the combination topper wig video. And then I think the one prior to that was either, a, um, was it a makeup video or, oh gosh, I can't remember now, but there were two. And... <clears throat> I apologize because my my voice sounded a little hoarse and um, I had to clear my throat a lot and you didn't see that or hear it because I edited it, it out but it was an issue kind of like how I'm sounding now well I think you know even though it hadn't gotten to the point where it was swollen to where I can feel it things were inflamed I think in my thyroid causing this sort of hoarseness and when I'm talking you know everything gets really sore you know where where it's inflamed um it was very visual whereas i think it has gone down the slightest bit um whereas before i told her about it and she had me tilt my head back a bit and she goes oh yeah i can see it and then of course she felt and all of that but um anyway i got to thinking about that mm -hmm. i think that was you know really a thing and it's been going on for a little longer than when I, you know when i actually got sick and actually also also could feel it so <clears throat> there all right you guys i'm gonna let you go um and again i want to thank you so much for your well wishes your prayers and anything positive that you sent my way i i appreciate you guys tremendously you have no idea how much you bring to me in my life so thank you Don't. for those of you that celebrate have a lovely holiday season have a lovely christmas I may not connect with you until after. We'll see. I'll, I'll try my dangness to get a video out, an official video out, before the end of the year. I mean, I want to do that for myself. So hopefully that will happen. But if not, I want to say Merry Christmas. I hope you have a lovely holiday season with your friends and family and loved ones. And have a happy new year if I don't see you before the new year. Bye-bye.